Sorry guys, the video got stopped. But anyway, we are looking at this spot right here. If we look back at our word, we take our finger off the other word, we have one and 324 thousandths. Well, we know that 300 is going to be written 300. Zero, zero. Well, just because it's not in the hundredths place doesn't mean that it's not 300. It's still 300. It's just ending, the last number is ending in the thousands place. So we know our decimal, it's our decimal and then the word three. So right next to our decimal needs to be a three. So we are writing one and 324 thousandths is how you would say that number. Okay, so let's move on to problem D. 608 thousandths, okay? Now, if we look at C, C said and, but D does not. So we know that there is a decimal, there's just no whole numbers because it doesn't say something and 608 thousandths, it just says 608 thousandths. Okay, so again, we're ending in the thousands place, which means we need three spots after the decimal. So one, two, three. Because remember, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Okay, so once we've got our tenths, hundredths, thousandths, we're gonna look back at the number, and the word right before thousandths is eight. So over here, I'm going to write an eight in the thousandth spot. That's what it said was in the thousandth spot, was eight. Now, if we go back and look at the whole number, it says 608 thousandths. Okay, so I need to come back here and I need to write my six in, I need to make 600. Now, I'm not going to put the sixth in the hundredth place because if I did that, I would have the number 68. And is that what they asked for? No. They want the number 608 thousandths. So, if you were to write the number 608, you would write 608. So, I'm going to do the same thing here. 608. So therefore, we have 608 thousandths because the eight is left in the thousandth spot. Okay, now letter E looks very similar to letter D, but there's one word difference and that word can make a huge change. So letter E said 608 thousandths Letter E says 608 thousandths. So remember, up on letter C, we said the word and was our decimal and we were gonna put a big dot over it because we're that helps us remember that we have a decimal right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my decimal over here. Put a big dark decimal so that I remember. And then I'm going to only look at one side of this problem at a time. I'm gonna look at the left side before I look at the right side. So this number right here says 600. Well, how do we write 600? We would write it six, zero, zero. And again, if you look down here in your place values chart, we have ones, tens, hundreds. So this number is 600. So right now, we've got the first part of it, 600 and, 600 and, okay? So now we need the back half of our problem. It says eight thousandths. Well, remember this thousandths is telling us where we're stopping. So if we have thousandths, we need how many spots to fill um, over to the side? I'm gonna draw my blanks we would need to fill three spots because if we look down here at the place value chart, it goes tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Therefore, up here it's tenths, hundredths, thousandths. 
So this is our thousandths place. Well, remember I said, once we have where we're stopping, we look at the word right before it and it says eight. So eight is the number that is going in our thousandths place. So I'm gonna put an eight right there in the thousandths place. Now, I'm not finished. Remember we talked about something called a placeholder. I am not finished. I cannot leave this number like this because it doesn't make sense. I have to fill in these other two blanks. Now remember, I don't wanna change the value of it, so I don't wanna add any other number except for one of them, and it's going to be a zero. A zero takes the place, and it holds that place, but it doesn't change the value of eight thousandths, okay? So now we have 600 and eight thousandths, okay? So let's look down here at F. Now guys, don't panic because this is a fraction. If we were to read this fraction, it would be simply said 46 thousandths. 46 thousandths. It's not gonna be and, not 46 and 1,000 because this is a fraction. So this means 46 divided by 1,000. Okay, so we need to write this as a decimal. It gave it to us in fraction form. It wants us to write it as a decimal. Well, I just said you would read this as 46 thousandths. Well, that word that I just ended in was thousandths. Okay, so I'm going to draw my decimal. And then I'm going to draw how many spaces I would need for thousands. A way that you could remember on how many spaces you would need for thousands is there are three zeros in 1,000, which means there's three zeros to get to a thousands, to get two thousands. So I have gotten tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and now I need to fill it in. It says 46 thousandths. Now, what do you hear comes right before thousandths in that number. We just said that thousandths is going to tell us where we're going to end. So what number goes in the thousandths position when you're reading 46 thousandths? Listen to it again. 46 thousandths. Well, I'm hearing the six. 46 thousandths. I want the number right before the thousandths. Okay, so I've got my six. Well, we need to write just 46. I don't want to change that number at all. So I'm going to put the four in the hundredths place. So now we have 46 thousandths. Now, I still can't be finished because I have this empty blank. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my placeholder there and put a zero. So now we went from our fraction 46 thousandths to a decimal 46 thousandths. So let's look at G, okay? This one looks just a little bit different, but we're not gonna let it fool us. It says three and 946 thousandths, okay? So this one gave us a whole number. And remember, our whole number is gonna be to the left of the decimal. So it says three and, so I'm going to put my decimal down because I know that there's three whole numbers and then gonna be decimal numbers after that. So three goes in my ones position because there's three ones or three holes in that number. And, which is my decimal, then I have 946 thousandths. Now remember, we've been talking about thousandths. It says that if there's thousandths, then we have to have three places to fill in because we have our tenths, our hundredths, and our thousandths. Okay, so we have 946 thousandths. Now we just said the word right before thousandths is the number that's going to go in the thousandths place. 
So listen to what I'm saying, 946 thousandths. So again, just like the last one, the six is going to be in the thousandths position. Now it says 946. Well, I don't wanna change that number. I just need to put it in decimal form. So I'm going to put my four in the hundredths and my nine in the tenths. So now I went from a fraction to a decimal, three and 946 thousandths. Okay, so let's look at H. 200 and 904 thousandths. Well, we know that 200 is our whole number, so it's gonna go to the left of our decimal, and then we're gonna put our decimal and and then we have thousandths is our place value, 904 thousandths. So we're gonna draw our three spaces out next to the decimal because tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Okay, so I'm gonna go 200, just looking at the left side, I know that 200 is going to be our whole number. And 904 thousandths. What number came right before the thousandths? 904 thousandths. It's gonna be the four. So our four is gonna go in our place of the thousandths, and then we just need to fill in the rest, zero, nine. So now we have 200 and 904 thousandths, okay? So we have got the number part down. Now we're gonna talk about the words. We're gonna put these numbers into words. They are not that hard, we're gonna put them into words. So it says, express each of the following values in words. Well, we need to know how to read these numbers first before we go any further. So letter A, it says 0 0.005. Well, I know if there's three spots after the decimals, that means it's going to end in the thousandths position. So this five is in the thousandths position. Well, I don't have any whole numbers, so I don't need to put any whole numbers before the decimal. And I don't need to put a decimal because we're gonna know that just by the way we spell this word. So what I do need to put is the number five. That's what I'm hearing when I say, five thousandths, okay? So I'm gonna write the word five, F-I-V-E. And then we said that it is going to be um, in the thousandths position. So I need to put thousandths as the place value because I know this is where we stop and this is the number that's in that place. So five, thousandths can be written as five thousandths. Now let me go ahead and tell you, if you do not put this THS on the end of the hundredths, the thousandths, the hundredths, and the tenths, it's going to be wrong in word form. If you just write it like this, this and this are two different things. This is a whole number, it's to the left of the decimal, this is a decimal number, it's to the right of the decimal. So if you're putting this, or if you don't put this, and that's the position that it's in, it's wrong. Okay, so you have to have that THS on the word, on the end of the word. Now, let's look at letter B. We have 11 and 37 thousandths. Well, let's just look at the one side first. Let's look at the left side first. So this number is one word. That one word is 11. So I'm gonna go ahead and write it. E 11, 11, okay? I've got 11 written. And remember, we said our decimal says the word and when you're writing in word form. So 11 and I have 37 thousandths. Well, I need to write that. 
I need to write the word 30, then seven, and it ends in the thousandths place, so I need to write thousandths. And remember to add that THS. It is important, you have to add the THS. Okay, so the next one, letter C, says 403 and 608. Now notice how I did not say 403 and 608. If I said that, this is how I would be saying it. 403 and 608. Because remember, we said that decimal stands for the word and. Well, this isn't a decimal. I can't do that. So, you have to remember, you only say and when you see the decimal. No other time. So, if we look at letter C, this number is said 403 and 608. So I need to write the first, we're gonna look just at the left side of the decimal. It says 403. I'm going to write that number as words. 403. And then the decimal, we remember, says the word and. Now I'm only looking at the right side of the decimal, 600. 608 thousandths. Why am I saying it's in the thousandths? It's because the eight, the end number, is in the thousandths position. So I need to write 608 thousandths. Sorry, I kind of ran out of room. Eight thousandths, because that thousandths tells me where we're ending. And it tells me that this eight is ending in the thousandths position. So we have covered the number form. We have covered the word form. Now we just have our last form. And I know this looks crazy down here, but I'm going to explain it. It, it really is pretty easy. So if we were to look at this number that it gives us right here. Normally, last year, when you wrote it in expanded form, you would put 30 plus five plus eight, but plus, sorry, 0 0.8 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.007. Well, we're just gonna take it one step further and break it down just a little bit further. So, instead of saying 30, we're going to say three times 10. Because three times 10 equals 30. Plus five times one. There's only, five is in the one spot. So five times one equals five. Plus, we're now in the eighth spot. I'm sorry, in the tenth place. We are looking at, you can write this in two different ways. When you get to the right of the decimal, you can either write it in fraction form or in decimal form. It's entirely up to you and I will accept both. So when you get to the right of the decimal, right now we are looking at the tenths. It says you have eight tenths. So you can either write it as eight times one over 10, or you can write it as eight times point one. Not point, and decimal one, I'm sorry. Because if you did eight times decimal one, you would still get eight tenths. Plus two, which is in the hundredths place, you can write it either two times one over 100, or you can write two times decimal zero, zero, one. Plus 
the seven is in the thousands place, so you can write seven times one over 1,000, or you can write it seven times decimal zero, zero, one. I messed this last one up. I need to go back and fix it. I put too many zeros. This should say two times zero, one. I apologize for that. So let's, um, I want you to either flip to a blank page or I know you can't flip this page over to a blank page or get out a blank sheet of paper. I'm going to give you another number to write um, an expanded form, okay? So I want you to write the number, hmm. Let me see. Let's do number four hundred four and four thousandths. Okay, so first I'm going to write it in word form. We said to the left of the decimal is our whole number. So I'm gonna write this as a whole number. Four hundred four. And we said this decimal says the word and, and we've been kind of doing um, thousandths over and over again. So I did four hundredths. So I know that the four is in the hundredths. So I'm going to write four, oh, sorry, wrong four. Four hundredths. Okay, so we've got it in worm form. Now let's expand it. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. So if we look back at our other page, we look down here at the bottom, we had three tens, we didn't do hundreds, this time we do. So we're gonna make four times, what times four makes this 400? Well, it would be, if we look, ones, tens, hundreds. So it's gonna be four times 100. It's in the, one, it's in the hundreds place. So four times 100 plus, four, because remember zero is just a placeholder. So four times 100 plus four, and it is in our tens place. So I'm going to say four times 100 plus four times 10. And then plus we have no ones. I'm sorry, we have no tenths, okay? So I'm not gonna put plus times, zero times tenths, there, there's nothing. So it's just a place that so there's no, nothing I need to do. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna skip that one and go plus four hundredths. And remember, we can do four times, we can either do it four over 100, or you can write it four times point zero one. Now, I want you to go ahead and work the rest of these by yourself um, or with the help of your parents. If you need any more help from me, please let me know and I'd be happy to help. I hope you all have a great day, and like I said, just message me if you have any problems or need any extra help. Bye!